Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, beer, beer, beer. and this is your complete competitors list for the 2024 Mr. Olympia, Joe Weeders. Olympia, notice that I tossed that in there in respect for good old Joe. Alright guys, let's say some good posing. That's Joe, and if you are new to the channel, which is possible, this is an Olympia prediction. I apologize for my strange behavior, but trust me, give it time and you will love it and me. Trust me. Most people do. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's go through this competitor's list one by one. Competitor number one, Brandon Curry. Number one in all our hearts. He, of course, was the first to qualify. He qualified, er, he qualified. He qualified back in 2019. As you can see here, he won the Olympia. Once you win the title, you are qualified for life. The last time we did see him, however, he was a little bit smaller. But he still managed to get fourth at the Olympia. So he is a guy to watch out for, considering he was a little off. He was a little off, so look for a perhaps better package this year from Brandon Curry. Who do we got next? Competitor number two, Derek Lunsford. He is your Mr. Olympia champion. So a lot of people would have him number one on the list. Uh, Brandon was kind of qualified before this man. But if you want to get into statistics or semantics or whatever, I guess Hattie Schupin was qualified before Derek Lunsford. But anyway, Derek... I mean, this package that he won the Olympia title with, guys, dare I say, underrated. Underrated. And that's that's all I'm going to say. And of course, guys, I'm going to be giving my complete predictions after I name all these guys. Here is competitor number three, Hattie Schupin. And much like Brandon Curry and Derek Lunsford, he has no need to qualify ever again. He is a former Mr. Olympia champion, but food for thought. He did qualify, I guess, by placing second at last year's Olympia. And also, oh yeah, the top three at the Olympia gets a free pass. Give me the ticket for the next year. But Hattie Schupin also won the Arnold Classic title. Look at him here. Unbelievable. So look for a high placing for this man. Number four on the list, Samson Dauda. This is him at the Arnold UK. I believe his his best package. Hard to say. Hard to say. He was good at a couple of other events as well. He was qualified by placing third at last year's Mr. Olympia event, so I put him number four on the list. Number five, the forgotten feller, Theo Le Guerrier. He won the Japan Pro, and he was qualified very early. So kudos to him, and he has had a, an entire season to get ready for this event. A lot of people are writing this guy off. Theo, I believe in you. I le believe in you. Est-ce que je peux le commencer va te, huh? Eh? Ne comprends pas? Eh, mais well. Anyway, fellow French men, Theo Le Guerrier, good luck at the Olympia, my friend. Competitor number six, Rafael Brandao, the Brazilian bombshell. He got his qualification by winning the South America, the Arnold South America. I thought it was the Arnold Brazil, but it was the Arnold Classic South America. This will be his second outing at this event, receiving 10th place, his first first time, 2022. So good luck to Rafael, Rafael. Competitor number seven, huh, Martin Fitzwater. This guy here, he's making his Olympia debut. He qualified by winning the Detroit Pro and perhaps more famously, he pushed Nick Walker at that New York Pro, a lot of people say, whether I believe it or not, whether I think Nick won. But either way, guys, I am excited to see Martin Fitzwater on his Olympia debut. Competitor number eight, and there's the man himself, Nicholas Walker. Nick Walker, come on, Nick. Do it. I predicted you to win the Olympia last year. You got to do it. For all your fans, even little Max Max Muscle, he is out there cheering for you. You can do it, Nick. You can do it. Competitor number nine, a guy a lot of people are writing off. Not me. Akeem Williams. He's still a beast. For all these years, he's still a beast. 
good enough or beastly enough to win the Toronto Pro. Hmm? Toronto Pro champion. He did good at the, the Arnolds as well. Go over to the other side here. Competitor number 10, William Bonac. I'm excited to see him as well. Not a newcomer, not a debut, but it could be. And I'm not saying it is, guys, but you never know. It could be his last. Could be his last. And if it's not, could be his last couple. So I like to uh, pay extra attention to William Bonac. Now, competitor number 11. I'm just going to make mention of this guy, Beirouz Tabani. But I am not putting him, I repeat, I am not putting him in my predictions. I just don't think he's going to make it, guys. It's just too late. Too late. Compa visa issues, things of that nature. Competitor number 12, John. Do it, do it, do it. It's the Olympia. You can do it, do it, do it. He is a 212, a former 212 athlete, so he has been to the dance before. Never the open class. The jitters could get to this guy, the old jitterbug. Never know. And competitor number 13, lucky number 13, Mo Foda. And speaking of the old jitterbug, I have a feeling the old nerves are going to be plugging away at this guy. Hmm? I hope not. I just think so. Competitor number 14, John Delarosi's Baby Please. He has a lot to prove. And... Like me saying it could be William Bonac's last Olympia. We don't know. It could be any of these guys' last Olympias. But, I mean, Rami's last probably will be his last. And we just didn't know. So, guys like this, I really hope they are a smash hit at these events. Della Rosie's baby please. Always like this guy. Competitor number 15. Shinidu Obiki. Otherwise known as Andrew Jacked. Are you kidding me? If this guy can bring his Texas Pro package. All right, all right. I'm a little tired of hearing if, if too. But bodybuilding is all about ifs. You can't have one without the other. And speaking of can't have one without the other, competitor number 16, Hunter Labrada. You can't have Andrew Jacked without Hunter Labrada, it seems, at the Olympia event. Seems like they're a thorn in each other's sides, and I expect this year to be, well, I don't know, I don't know. I think one could veer off away from the other guy this year, I guess we'll see. Time's a ticking to my predictions. One more guy on the list. Last, but, well, uh, that's terrible. That, that's terrible. Generally, the last guy on the list is a, is a, big name like an Andrew Jack, so I say last but not least. But let's face it, Bruno Santos, he has a good, strong possibility of getting around that last place area, but that is no disrespect meant to this man. He won the Europa Pro with a slightly debatable, and I know the people that didn't debate it, of course, it's not debatable to you, to you, but I've heard people debate it. Won a debatable victory over Andrea Presti, who who did okay last year at the Olympia, didn't he? Well, I think he did. I think he did. First year, Andrea Presti didn't make it to the Olympia in many, many moons. And this man is to blame, Bruno. So thank you, Bruno, for that one. And now, without further ado, guys... You've been here before. Let's have my predictions, beginning with the last call-out, guys. This is your fourth call-out. No anticipation for this one. I will just lay it out here for you guys to see. Sixteen of them, minus your Beirut's to Banny, of course. We have good old Bruno Santos in 16th. And that's taking nothing away from him. Theo Leguerrier in 15th. He is a great athlete also. And we have Mo Foda. Mo Foda. He, he's getting 14th in my prediction. So I guess the nerves, they're not going to bug him that bad. These guys all have a range. Like they could get into the next call out. And John Jewett placing first in this little grouping. So congratulations, at least as far as the predictions are concerned. John Jewett. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. And by that... I mean, hearts have to be broken. 
Here is your third call-out, gentlemen. Uh, to have Brandon Curry in that third call-out, but... Hey, hey, these are just my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. No anticipation. Here are where I have them placed. I have Brandon Curry at least winning this lineup. There's some hungry lions there, guys, that he's still going to fend off. I know you're going through your head. Who who else is beating Brandon Curry? Things of that nature. Rafael Brandeo, he's going to get 10th again, as far as my predictions are concerned. And in 11th place, John De La Rossi's. Hmm, I'm outranking everybody else, huh? All right, all right. So he's, he's that high in this uh, prediction video. Kudos to him. And we have great big Akeem Williams in 12th place. That will be a great improvement. I think he's going to bring a decent package, more than decent. Him and De La Rosa, if you're paying attention, they they swapped places, I believe. One got a victory over the other. The Arnold Classic and then the Arnold Classic UK. Things of that nature. But it's going to be a tiebreaker here for these guys at this Olympia. And now... Your second call out, gentlemen, and I can just hear you guys now. But Max, Max Muscle, you have lost your mind. Wow, Andrew Jacked getting fifth place at the Olympia once again. And Hunter Labrada getting sixth. That seems to be a trend with those guys. I'm going to stick with that trend. And we have Martin Fitzwater making his Olympia debut with a more than decent package. Hey, to get seventh at the Olympia, you're going to have to bring a great package. And I think William Bonac, eighth. Eighth is good. I hope William Bonac's not upset with an eighth. You're getting a victory over Brandon Curry, and I think that will be more of a thing. I think them two are going, going at it at the Olympia will be exciting no matter where they place. Hey, they could be first and second. Well... I mean, you know what I'm saying. So yes, these predictions—they're not make or they're not gonna be able to make everybody happy. I mean, you know, you know that. You know that going in. And now, your first call out at the 2024 Olympiad, Joe Weider's Olympia. And here it is. Locke said, "No anticipation, might." We have Derek Lunsford taking his second title. And now, or and two time, Mr. Olympia. That's what Bob will say before they announce, because it could be either one. Huh? Could be Hattie Shupin if he says, and now two time. Hattie Shupin gets second. He will be not pleased. Not pleased at all. That could be the fireworks at the end of this one, here to tell you. So get your cameras ready. But anyway, anyway. Nick Walker getting third once again. I think he will have to play the waiting game until ultimately he does crack that code. And I think do what he ultimately is doing now. He's just coming in and winning shows. And I probably will think that he should have won this one as well. I think he's going to get third. And in fourth, we have Samson Ndauda. And he's not going to do anything wrong. I just think everybody else is going to be there. They're all going to be doing right stuff. They just... you got to have the right stuff. The right stuff to place the first call out at the Olympia, my soul. So, no disrespect meant to Samson, Nick, or Heidi. And hey, I could be wrong about you, Derek. I could be wrong about you. But I believe... Brother Derek will win yet again. Well, that's it, guys. That's my predictions. Let me know, of course, your guys' predictions. If you want to do the whole thing, do the whole package. But, you know, your top sixes will be will be just fine. And I know, I know, this is a very early prediction. Did this last year as well. Just gives us time to reflect and everybody else can check out and see what marks Max Muscle as predicted for the Olympia, and maybe to get more views as well. Eh, I'll be honest. We like views as YouTubers. We can't be condemned for liking views. We like thumbs ups. We love subscribers. We just love it. We get addicted to it. You see, we can't stop. 
more, more. 